Good morning and welcome to the investor presentation of WIS for the second quarter year 2022. The quarter was good. We are glad to see that the investment income was positive in the quarter uh, despite challenging mar marketing environment. Normal return was 1.1% and investment income 450 million kroner. The compound ratio was in line with our expectation. Despite we had a difficult winter, uh, but we had no uh, large losses. The inflation uh, continued to increase, which impacted uh, the compound ratio, but the compound ratio uh, for the first six months is 102% compared to 101.6% last year. With that and a cost reduction measures we have uh, implementing and uh, have planning to implement, we are glad to see that our uh, forecast for the year is unchanged uh, to have the compound ratio of 95 to 97% for the full year. <clears throat> Here we see the highlight of the in income statement, premium of 5.9% billion, compound ratio of 98%, return on investment 1.1, as I told, I said earlier, the profit 476 million uh, ISK, return on equity 2.8%, and solvency ratio 1.65. And the same for this uh, six month, we see the premium 11.6%, compound ratio 102, return on investment 1.9%, the profit 550 million, return on equity 3%, and solvency ratio, of course, the same, 1.65. Looking into the insurance business, we see the development of premium increasing by 4.6%. We have been uh, very focused uh, on sales, and we have uh, implemented a new structure, which is uh, which is uh, supposed to strengthen the, uh, or us on that side. Uh, we will continue emphasis on the most profitable customers in order to uh, increase uh, uh, decrease the compound ratio, and uh, we have uh, a huge uh, focus on uh, customer experience and business development. One thing that we are very proud to uh, launch in a couple of months is the WIS Reward Loyalty Program. We will be the first Icelandic company uh, to have uh, customer uh, loyalty uh, imp 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 implementing the premium. Uh, if you are, have been a customer for a long time, uh, you will gain from that uh, uh, clearly. We will also use the loyalty program to be in, uh, com uh, to ha have communication with our customers, to know the customers, and we have uh, see a lot of uh, of uh, uh, profitable and uh, good uh, opportunities in that area, and we are really looking forward to launch this in the coming months. Looking at the development in claims, we see the total claims decreasing by three percent, six percent. And we see in the line of business, <coughs> the claims ratio uh, uh, higher in the motor, other, uh, the casco, uh, 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 coming from a relatively challenging winter uh, with, the, with regards of the motor. But the uh, mandatory motor is uh, lower than the, uh, uh, the current, uh, the, uh, the year 2021, which is good. Of course, the liability uh, in 2021 is high there, but that claim we have reported earlier was uh, fully, uh, the largest part there was fully reinsured. It's also worth noticing <coughs> the impact of the change of interest rate and inflation and how it uh, impact the income statement. Uh, when the uh, inflation and in, uh, invest, uh, in interest rate are changing that dramatically as it has been uh, for the uh, past year or so, it is good to have in mind the effect on the, on the income statement. 
And we see the claims ratio uh, being in, in the second quarter 74%, but it's impacted by two uh, large uh, factors, uh, positive uh, runoff for, for the uh, earlier years, but also a 5% is due to the inflation expectation. Uh, looking at the operation, we see the development of the compound ratio for the rolling 12 months, coming to a level uh, which we have uh, set us as a target. Uh, the operation expenses uh, we see there on the top right picture, uh, we see how it has developed in, in, in ISK and it also uh, worth noticing that, for example, the quarter two in 2020 is uh, 10 million ISK lower than in quarter two in 2018. This is due to the internal work we have uh, set us as and the target to hold uh, the expenses uh, on the on the same, same level in, in, in ISK. It's also worth noticing the, the uh, expense ratio for the uh, quarter two of this year. It's a uh, 0.2% lower uh, than uh, compared to the same quarter last year, but it's also worth noticing uh, the reason for it. Uh, in April, we have in, we, we had a change in our structure, uh, which we will have have a uh, which we have a fewer uh, we had fewer uh, employees. We set uh, we implemented the structure <coughs> and and layoffs. Which, uh, which impacted the cost ratio. Uh, but we see the development of the month coming in May and June, and we see the same, we expect the same effect to have the lower uh, expense ratio compared to the, uh, to, to the year 2021. We have been working on, uh, on, 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 on changing on infrastructure and optimizing the operation, and we have set aside cost reductions uh, measures which implement uh, the uh, the second part of the year as well as the year going forward looking at the balance sheet uh, we see the cash and cash equivalents uh, increasing but i think it's better uh, for arnor head of investment to uh, talk a little bit about the balance sheet and the investment uh, for the company thank you Thank you, Helgi. Uh, it's fair to say that second quarter was very difficult uh, on asset markets here in Iceland as well as globally. Uh, we saw both fixed income and equity indexes going down during the quarter. And given that fact, we are quite happy to show positive results for the quarter of 452 million. Uh, three points I'd like to stress. Firstly, uh, return from the fixed income. Portfolio was positive, which is really good compared to the market. Uh, listed equities, though they were down by 1 billion ISK, outperformed the market. Uh, the biggest news in the quarter is perhaps uh, other equities, which rose 1.3 billion. And that's due to uh, increases in the value of carriages on one hand and control on the other. Uh, if you look at the asset allocation, uh, you can mainly see that uh, cash is rising, uh, mainly due to market conditions in, in fixed income markets. Uh, we saw a decrease in listed equities, mostly due to decrease in the value of the portfolio. And we see increase in other equities, mostly due to increase in the value. Uh, if you look at returns for the quarter, it's 1.1% compared to 6% during the same period last year, which is really positive year for the markets. And 1.9% return uh, for the first half compared to 11.8%. Uh, if we look at the uh, fixed income portfolio, which is 26 billion ISK, roughly 60% of our assets, uh, you can see that um, our main changes in the quarter, we are decreasing our inflation indexation. Uh, we are selling inflation bonds uh, it, during the quarter, and you can see the inflation indexation goes from 60% down to 53%. Uh, we've been running on quite low duration for the portfolio, which comes to the fact that uh, the performance of the fixed income part was positive during the quarter. 
uh, and our 25% of our fixed income portfolio is on floating rates, which helps us well uh, during this uh, environment in the markets. Uh, in the bottom right hand corner, you can see graph of the size of the investment assets, uh, which has risen from 30, 34 billion to 40, 44 billion. Uh, so this, the, the size of the portfolio is quite, quite large compared to historical size. But you can also see how the, uh, how the assets are split between fixed income and equities, and we are running around 40% in equities, as I said, and 60% in fixed income. Uh, looking at the equity side, we have 10 billion in listed equity and 7 billion in other equities. Uh, on the listed equity part, uh, we can see quite good performance compared to the market. If you look at the first six months, you can see we are 7.5% down during the period compared to 12% uh, in the index, uh, which is quite positive to see after uh, really strong periods in 2020 and 21 where we outperformed the market. Uh, the main changes we've done is we've been increasing our uh, investments in the Icelandic banks, Arion Bank and, and, and Islandsbanki, as well as Icelandic Salmon and uh, the airline play. Uh, but we were decreasing Quicker Bank and Feste and Ölgerin, which was an un unlisted uh, equity in first quarter, but is now listed on the Icelandic stock exchange. Uh, the biggest news perhaps is in the other equity part, uh, mainly due to the fact that uh, Keritsits is delivering 916 million in an in investment income, which is roughly 200% return. And that's mainly due to the fact they were raising equity and we saw str strong interest from foreign investors into the company. We set a really strong uh, new price for the company. Uh, we've also seen some investments uh, traced with Controlant and we've taken the value of the company from 10,000 to 12,800. So all in all, uh, the other equity uh, part, which is private equity and unlisted equity, was really strong during the quarter. So with that, I'll give it back to Helgi. Thank you, Arthur. Uh, looking at the shareholders list, uh, there's not much change there, but we see, uh, as earlier, the pension fund uh, holding up to 50% of the shares uh, in the company. With that uh, last slide, we are very glad to see and uh, that our forecast for the year is at the same level as it was at the start of the year, uh, the company ratio being 95 to 97%. And with that, I'll say thank you uh, for this meeting. Uh, have a good day. Thank you.